Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven, everybody? And bless the name of the Lord for what is in stock for you tonight. Give the Lord praise for making you a partaker of this great night. The Priscilla Encounter Night. Because the Lord will do something unique in your life tonight, give him glory. Because he will do something great in your life tonight, give him praise. In Jesus precious name we have given thanks Amen. we are told at the welcome time that it is encounter that makes life count every encounter opens a new chapter to a man's life I'd like you to reach out in faith to heaven Lord I'm not here to be numbered I'm here for an encounter. Grant me an encounter by your word tonight. Grant me an encounter in praises tonight. Grant me an encounter in every segment of this service tonight. I'm not here to be numbered. I'm here to be counted. Lord, grant me an encounter here tonight. An encounter of a lifetime. Grant me tonight an encounter of a lifetime. Grant me tonight an encounter of a lifetime. La Rose Ruda Barada Lozari da Brudi Ale Sharadova. Grant me tonight an encounter of a lifetime. O Zazizo da Lutale Praktanara du Zezaroda. Grant me tonight an encounter of a lifetime. Zezura di Bradalu Kraktenero di Zazarudani. Grant me an encounter of a lifetime tonight. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus precious name we are praying. Lord, we stand here tonight desiring a Priscilla encounter with you. Let tonight be a night of encounter indeed for all that are in attendance. All over the world, give everyone tonight experience with you. everyone an experience with you Amen. appear to your people by your word tonight Amen. in a high praise session appear to everyone tonight Amen. in our prayer time appear to everyone tonight Amen. let no one return from here without a story to tell Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. Let me again welcome every one of us to this great night called Priscilla Encounter Night. And I want to believe as we have prayed that you will be listed among men and women with definite encounters tonight. Amen. Shiloh 2016. Amen. My case is different. Shiloh 2016. My case is different. 
Shiloh 2016. And my case is different. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Let me first refresh our mind about what Shiloh is. Shiloh is not a church conference, but a mountain of encounter with God. First Samuel 3 and verse 21, the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh the word of the Lord. Shiloh is not a church event. It's a mountain of empowerment. And the land was subdued before them. Joshua 18.1 And through the grace of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Psalm 66 and verse 3 is a mountain of empowerment. Shiloh is not a church program, but a mountain of answered prayers. And we saw Hannah in Shiloh pouring her soul to God. And she returned with her somewhere because I've asked him of the Lord. God answered her prayers at Shiloh. So Shiloh is prophetically a mountain of answered prayers. Everything you ever desire, you ask to believe in, return with them. Shiloh is not a church anniversary, but a place for taking delivery of our inheritance. Why are you slack in possessing the land which the Lord has given you? Get in there and take it. Shiloh is a place for taking delivery of our inheritance. Shiloh is not therefore a convention, but a mountain of divine visitation. And every divine visitation changes people's position. And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son at her old age, at the set time of which the Lord has spoken. For Samuel chapter 4, verse 3 to 5, every movement of the car act signals divine visitation. Shiloh is therefore ordained a platform for the rise of giants, and the land was subdued before them. Let us therefore know that Shiloh is a mountain of prophetic instructions ordained to launch, launch people into realms of supernatural breakthroughs through a system of divine instructions. Telling you what to do, telling me what to do to get out of where we are to where we should be. Therefore, get ready. This is your Shiloh. I said, Shiloh 2016 is your Shiloh. Yeah. I'd like you to receive that in faith. Shiloh 2016 is your Shiloh. Yeah. Therefore, at Shiloh, we must watch out for divine encounters through the ministry of the world, through prayers. And as he prayed, he was transfigured before them. One major feature of Shiloh is the Shiloh prayer hour. How many of you enjoy it? The Shiloh prayer hour where you stand before the Lord and like Hannah, pray your life and your heart out to God on issues of interest to you. Expect divine encounters through testimonies. Praise God. Because every testimony is a pointer to your heritage. Expect encounters through testimonies. Expect encounters through praise and worship. The voice of God coming through to you. Expect encounters through choir ministrations and other special ministrations. We must stay focused on the altar. At every point in time, so as not to miss the catch-up moment. 
that holds your package in stock. Something will be dropping for you. Amazing things will be dropping for you at Shiloh and beginning from tonight. Shiloh 2016 shall be a mountain of encounters indeed for all participants. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. One genuine encounter is worth much more than a lifetime of effort. One genuine encounter can turn any man's stories around 360 degrees. One genuine encounter. And tonight, pre Shiloh Encounter Night, you will have one such encounter in your life. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. Every great story in the kingdom is traceable to definite encounters that such individuals have. Every great story in the kingdom is traceable to definite encounters that people had with their God. Every genuine story every great story every man and woman of exploit will trace their stories to definite encounters they have with god i'd like to be set for an encounter tonight and that's what we have now let's quickly look at this understanding the wonders of praise you know praise is not a spiritual entertainment God is entertained 24 24 7 in heaven there are angels that do nothing but worship and praise him day and night in heaven it does not need our entertainment praise God is fully entertained by angelic musicians who have divine expertise to sing to the tone that he loves. But what are we praising God for? What is in praise for me? What is in praise for you? Understanding the wonders of praise. The Bible says, God does fearful things in the midst of praise. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods is like thee. You have glorious in holiness and fearful in praises doing wonders. So praises constitute a medium through which God does wonders. Wonders. Among the wonders God does in praise is the release of your inheritance. The release of your inheritance. Now, let's go to Psalm 47 and verse 1 to 4. Clap your hands, O ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of God. And verse 2. He said, for the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over the earth. He shall subdue the people under us as we praise him. And the nations under our feet. Now, he shall choose or release our inheritance to us. He shall choose or release our inheritance for us. The excellence of Jacob whom he loved. And he went on in verse 7. Therefore sing ye praises with understanding. Understand that praises is not entertaining God is simply engaging God to make good this promise. You are simply engaging God. So let's engage him with that sense of understanding. Let's engage him with an, a sense of understanding. Release my inheritance to me tonight. 
and all of your hunger inheritance will come true tonight through high praises. Yeah. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. Let's go specifically. The wonders in praise. We look at a few of them tonight. One praise provokes answers to prayers. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayers and supplications with thanksgiving make your request known unto God with thanksgiving and when Jesus taught us how to pray when you pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come and went on into verse 13 for thine is the glory and the power forever amen so his prayer protocol must terminate in praise for it to count. Amen. It's not enough to cry out. It's important to praise the answer down. So praise is one of the keys to provoking answers to prayers. Any praise dry prayer will never receive answers. Every prayer must be soaked in praise. For if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have received our petition. First John 5, 14 and 15. So he must hear you before you can be answered. And we make known our request to God with thanksgiving. He doesn't know what you are saying until you thank him for it. Until you praise him for it. He doesn't know what you are saying. So tonight, answers will be tumbling down from heaven for you. Yeah. Whatever you have asked of the Lord that you are yet to experience, it will come down your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Ezekiah prayed. He said, because the Lord will heal me. I'm, I've not seen the healing. Therefore, we will sing my song. He had to sing the answer down to see as you praise him tonight, whatever pertains to you that is being resisted by the devil will be forcefully released into your life. Yeah. Number two, praise provokes divine intervention. When you are confronted with forces and battles greater than you are, he said, mm. set yourself and see my salvation. That means get into praise and you provoke my intervention. And they began to sing and to praise, God intervened. And they turned their three enemies against themselves until none of them escaped. Praise is key to provoking divine interventions. Everything fighting your destiny we come crashing tonight. That's in Second Chronicles and chapter 20, verse 17 to 24. But verse 22 said, And as they began to sing and to praise, God set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Manseah, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Verse 23, for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mansia, utterly to slay and destroy. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. What a God we serve. That's what will happen in your behalf tonight. Everything resisting your glorious destiny in Christ shall enjoy divine intervention tonight. Everything resisting your family shall be brought down tonight. Also, we discover that praise number three provokes supernatural deliverance. Paul and Silas were kept in the prison to be brought out the following day to be slaughtered. But at the midnight, as chapter 12, 16 and verse 
25. At the midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God, and the prisoners heard them. No secret praise. High praises. Amen. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of fire. Say with me, there is deliverance for me tonight. And the Bible says, and suddenly, ah, there was a great earthquake. And so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors, how many of them? Everything that has edged you in will be forced open tonight. And every man's band was loosed. How many? Say with me, my bands must be loosed tonight. Remember, suddenly and immediately. Suddenly and immediately. Come and say instant. There shall be instant deliverances here tonight. Every terminal disease shall be terminated here tonight. Every terminal situations shall experience a turnaround tonight. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Number four, praise provokes divine health. Say divine health. Let us come enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse 4, into his courts with praise. Let's be thankful unto him and bless his name. And they go from strength to strength. Everyone in Zion up it before God. Praise grants you and I entrance into his presence. And we go from strength to strength in his presence. Therefore, every form of weakness, every form of pain and discomfort in anyone's life drops off here tonight in the name of Jesus. Number five, praise provokes supernatural fruitfulness. Anna rose up and took bread, and her content was no more sad. She rose up, took bread, and began celebrating the reality of what he asked for. Abraham did not stagger at the promise of God from belief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being persuaded that what God has spoken is also able to perform. Being fully persuaded, Romans chapter 4 and verse 20 and 21. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And at the age of 100, brought forth a man child. Praise provokes supernatural fruitfulness. Everyone called barren under the sound of my voice. Tonight is your night of encounter. And praise provokes divine vengeance. Every war against your life, you don't know where it's coming from. The war must be won tonight. Psalm 149, verse 3 to 7. The Bible says, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. He said, for the Lord God take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He said, let the same be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud upon their beds. What are they to expect? Let the happiness of God be in their mouth and it will just hold in their mouth to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. So as we are praising, what are we doing? We are executing 
judgment. We are executing vengeance upon the wicked. The heathen, they are put the wicked. Executing vengeance upon the wicked. As you celebrate him tonight, all the forces arrayed against your destiny will come down under judgment. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Praise provokes divine favor, number seven. Say with me, divine favor. Praise provokes divine favor. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 47, they were praising God and having favor with all the people. Praising God and having favor. Just straight, straight line. Praising God and having favor. Praising God and having favor. You know, he said, he beautifies us in praise. He decorates us with favor. He decorates us with favor. We become valuable entities on the earth. Favor, favor, favor. Down by thy favor has made me to stand, my mountain to stand strong. Favor, favor, favor beautifies people. Favor decorates people. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34 verse 1. Everyone that is committed to a life of praise enjoys favor. Enjoys favor. Favor always pursues after people that celebrate their God. Favor always answers to people that praise their God. Expect the favor of God tonight. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Number eight. Favor provokes supernatural change of levels. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, there might not be fruit in the vine, the fruit of the olive wood shall may fail. But I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And the Lord God will make my feet like hands feet and will make me to walk upon my high places. High places. High places. Changing people's level. High places change people's level. It changes people's levels. Expect dramatic change of levels today. Yeah. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. One day, God of strange arts and strange works showed up in the life of Joseph and had four level changes in one moment. Remember, an ever hilarious, excited, celebrating prisoner. He was the source of joy to everyone in the prison. He was a man cladded with joy because he has God's presence and God inhabits the midst of his people. Joseph was a present patriarch and the Lord was with Joseph in the prison. And God inhabits the midst of his people. And you see how praise changes levels? Psalm 102 and verse 17 to 22. Amen. He sent a man before them, even Joseph. Psalm 105, sorry. Verse 17. Who was sold for a servant. And the Bible says, whose feet were hot with iron, he was, felt as he was laid in iron. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried them. But when his word came, the king sent and loosed them. Change of level number one. Amen. Discharged and acuted. And lose them, even the love of the people, and let him go free. Amen. A prisoner is now set free. Okay, that's not it. You know, he made him lord of his house. Level number two. And ruler of all his substance. Level number three. Now, to bind the prince at his pleasure. Level number four. And to teach his senators wisdom. Level number five. All at once because he succeeded to host God's presence. You can't host God's presence without praise. There is no way to host dolphin in your sitting room. She can't survive a water-free environment. 
God can't be with a man that's not present him. Every murmur I can't carry God's presence. Every complaint I can't smell God's presence. The Lord was with Joseph as a slave. He was with him as a prisoner. Why? He was busy celebrating God. How many are set for change of level? You can't be grounded praising God. Your levels will keep changing celebrating God. That is in spite of whatsoever. Keep celebrating your God. Your word is coming. I said your word is coming. And when your word comes, your levels will keep changing. Praise the Lord. Number nine, praise makes our stewardship acceptable and rewardable. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Come on, say God forbid. Say with me, God forbid. It takes serving God with joyfulness and gladness for our stewardship to be profitable. So praises make our stewardship profitable. Amen. It's not enough to be serving God. We must be serving and praising Him. You may not have seen anything, but you won't see nothing except to praise Him. You will not see anything except you praise Him. You will not see anything except you praise Him. He said, all the harvest of the feed is perished because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Joel chapter 1 verse 12. There are many people serving God and getting nothing out of it because you are not serving him with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Tonight, every seed that may have appeared dead in your ground will bring forth again. He said there is hope for a tree if it be called down. And his root is withered in the earth. Job 14, 7. He said that it will sprout again and will bring forth branch, branches. The branches thereof shall not cease. Because though the root of it was old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of of water as the word comes and you embrace the word and connect with the word he said it will bore and bring forth bowels like a plant it may appear dead but when you bounce back on the word of god the scent of water it will sprout again it will sprout again can i tell you this Serving God more money keeps you frustrated. Serving God more money destroys your returns. Serving God more money makes life unbearable for you. Please wake up and understand this. Paul said, Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, Rejoice. He went on and said, Rejoice evermore. Don't destroy your harvest. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. From tonight, your labor shall no longer be in vain. Your labor shall no longer be in vain. Your labor shall no longer be in vain. Number 10, praise provokes supernatural blessing. Let the people praise thee, O God, and let all the people praise thee. Let the nations rejoice and be glad. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Fearful blessings are products of praise. Fearful blessings. Fearful blessings. Fearful blessings. Okay.
Okay, servant, wait on here. I and the Lamb will, will go and worship and come back to you. And I could imagine Abraham singing and worshiping on the way to Moriah. <laughs> and he returned with sworn blessing. By myself have I sworn, said the Lord. Amen. But he went to worship. Genesis 22 verse 5. He went on a worship adventure. He went on a worship adventure. And he returned with his own blessing. Praise provokes supernatural blessings. I, I can tell you this. And what blessings do is to avert the causes that may be hanging on your life. So whatever represents any cause of the wicked, generational cause, diabolical causes, whatever represents a cause on anyone's life, as we pray same tonight, the causes will be averted. Amen. The causes shall be turned into blessings. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. The causes shall be turned into blessings. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise provokes supernatural blessings. Praise provokes supernatural blessings. Jesus gave thanks and five loaves and two fishes. Multiplied supernaturally to feed 5,000 men, men and women and children. Supernatural blessings will always trail a present believer. We always trace. Things never finish in the house of a present believer. As you keep praising, it keeps blessing. You keep praising, it keeps blessing. You know, I will bless the Lord. You know, whatever a man soul that's a child reap. We bless him in praises. And he multiplies the seed of blessing we sow back to us. So we receive multiplied blessings for the seed of blessing that we sow. Somebody's here, you will never run out of blessing in your life. I said, according to the prophetic work of last, of last Sunday, no more dry season in your life. Yeah. Number 11, praise provokes the flow of the supernatural. Who is like unto thee, O God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Because God inhabits the place of, of his people. God was working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Every manifest presence of God erupts in signs and wonders. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. Every manifest presence of God triggers the supernatural. Triggers signs and wonders. You can't keep company with God and run short of the supernatural in your life. It flows naturally. Expect signs and wonders tonight. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? As you praise him tonight, expect the flow of signs and wonders. Amen. And you are having that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are having that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Finally, number 12, praise provokes Fulfillment of prophecy. What is it? What is it? Praise provokes fulfillment of prophecies. Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and the word of God came true in his life. The word of God came true in his life. Yes, a prophetic word came out concerning Ezekiah in Isaiah 30, 38, verse 5. I've given to you 15 years more. And he said, because the Lord will heal me, verse 20, therefore will sing my song. So he sang his way to provoking fulfillment of prophecy in his life. As you are singing his praises tonight, whatever applies to you, among the 50 prophetic lines in the winner's personal lines, Prophetic declaration for the year 2016, whatever remains to be actualized in your life shall be actualized tonight. 
So I want you to praise God, targeting fulfillment of whatever remains on that item, on that packet, whatever remains to be released, pressing your way into them, pressing your way into divine health, pressing your way into financial fortune, pressing your way into deliverance, pressing your way to breakthroughs. You, every item that relates to you in that packet, that is yet to be realized, you can praise your way into it tonight. And as Hezekiah prayed that prayer, that was it. His healing came to pass. And 15 years was added more to his life. The truth is this. We are not living here without an encounter. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. We are not living here without an encounter. Yeah. In conclusion, according to scriptures, one can pray his way out of every prison of life. Come and say, I'm coming out tonight. You can press your way out of every defeat to victory. See, it's my turn tonight. You can press your way out of sickness to health. See, it's my turn tonight. You can press your way out of barrenness to supernatural fruitfulness. See, it's my turn tonight. You can press your way out of struggles into breakthroughs. See, it's my turn tonight. Well, this is one of the platforms for your Priscilla encounter. Are you ready? Yes. Let's draw the line here. We read it here that the living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day. Who shall praise him? The living. If you are in this service tonight all over the world, and you know that you know that you know that you are not born again yet, that is where your present adventure begins. Until you are born again, you are not an eligible candidate for his praises. Until you become a living soul, you are not a candidate for praises. Only the living. Remember all I've seen and I come short of the glory of God. Remember the soul that's in it is dead. Until Jesus came and brought us back out, brought us out of the grave, we were, we were all dead men and women. Wherever you are tonight, you want to be born again and be listed among the living who can praise him and praise him acceptably and praise him with results. But much more than that, you want to be born again, have eternal life, and after a triumphant and glorious life on earth, to finish your journey in eternity with Christ. Wherever you are tonight, would you please stand? And I'll be praying for you all over the world. Everyone that wants to give his or life to Christ, please stand. God bless you. Stand to your feet. This is one night you cannot afford to miss. Stand to your feet. God bless you. You want to give your life to Christ tonight and be listed among the living. Please stand to your feet. Stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. I'll be praying for you in a moment where you are. Please, please stand. Somebody else is standing up to join us. Do that quickly. Do that quickly. Only the living can praise him. Only the living can praise him. Only the living can praise him. Don't miss out of the wonders of praise tonight. Be part of it. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remain standing, please. There are also people here tonight that need to rededicate their life to Christ. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand to your feet. God bless you. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Please stand. You want to find your footing back in Christ? Please stand. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Please stand. Wherever you are, stand to your feet. Jesus loves you. Stand to your feet. Glory to God. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Please stand. Amen. One leg in and one leg out will not help you. Stand to your feet and make your path straight before the Lord. God bless you. All of us who are standing, both in the first and second call, please approach the altar area and all the locations around the world right now. Do that quickly. Okay, in Canaan, just move in to the nearest eye to where you are standing. Some church officials are there to assist you as we pray in the name of Jesus. Come on, church, give the Lord a big hand for the wonderful harvest tonight. In all the view centers, everyone has stood up for either of those two calls. Please make your way to the front of the altar. While here at the faith tabernacle, just move to the side where the officials are already waiting to receive you. 
Jesus is Lord. Glory to God. Would you bow your heads right now for prayers, everybody? Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I might be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored. I'm now a child of God. I am free from the power of sin to serve the living God. I now proclaim you as my Lord and my Savior. And I pledge to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Keep your hands up. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them in. Let the same grace preserve them. Every one of you shall run this race to the end. No force of the wicked shall draw you back into the world. You have come into the kingdom of light. You will never be drafted into the darkness anymore. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Please fill out your cards. And your sleeves and make sure you, are, you pass them on to those officials around you. In all the locations, please make sure you administer this as you do in your various locations in the name of Jesus. Shall we all rise to our feet? How many are set for the release of their inheritance? Amen. How many are set for the release of their inheritance? This is your chance for a change of story. We are going to be praising him now with understanding. What are we doing? We are praising him now. I want to praise him as if you are the only one in church. Praise him with all your heart and praise him with all your might. Let everything that is in you bless the Lord. Let everything shake every part of your system in praising him. And praise him with understanding of what is in it for you. I've outlined 12 amazing packages that we can assess through praise, that we can take delivery through praise. Now it's your turn to take it. Are you set for it? Are you set for it? Now, everyone receive a fresh garment of praise right now. Come on. Lord, I desire a fresh garment of praise upon my life tonight. I desire a fresh garment of praise upon my life tonight. I desire a fresh garment of praise upon my life tonight. I'm not entertaining you with my praise. I'm engaging you for my package. I'm engaging you for my biblical packages as unveiled tonight. I'm not praising to entertain you. I'm praising to engage you. It's my turn for a change of story. Lord, I receive tonight a fresh garment of praise to praise you acceptably, to praise you into realms of encounters. I'm having an encounter in this praise tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Praise him as if you are the only one in charge. Praise him out of every defeat into victory, out of every struggle into breakthroughs, out of every form of barrenness into fruitfulness, out of every form of dryness into wet and flourishing season. You can praise your way out of your predicament tonight. Are you ready for it? Thank you, Jesus. Let's get on to praise him. Jesus. 
Jesus higher, lift him higher, lift him higher, 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 higher. He's worthy of praise. Come on, lift him higher, 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 higher. Come on, lift him higher. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Oh, higher, higher, higher. Jesus high, lift him 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 high, higher, 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 lift him high, 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 Jesus, hello, 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 hello,
more to go, and I'd like you to do this with expectation. Do it with what? What you don't expect, you are not qualified to experience. Do it with expectation. We are not entertaining ourselves. We are not entertaining God. We are engaging God for divine intervention in every area of interest to you. Come on now. Do it with expectation. Expect to see that growth disappear. Expect to see that mountain leveled out. Expect to see that issue sorted out. Come on now. Let's praise him. Yahweh, 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 Makube. Two hands to heaven, everybody. 
whatever of your inheritance is yet to be made manifest in your life, you are returning back home with them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is a desire of your heart of the 12 blessings that flow through praise as outlined in that word today returns with you as a testimony. You wake up in the morning into a word of answered prayer. You are out of here in the morning into a word of fulfillment of prophecies. Whatever you put your faith to on those 12 keys, they return with you as testimony. And so shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and get to them. Be seated.